and then followed that up with an incredible opportunity with social work. Since then, we've, uh, we've launched up to 10 individual graduate programs, and we're launching an undergraduate program, which I'll talk about in a second. Just some notable highlights. Uh, WashU is our law school. We have two programs at UNC, uh, the Top 20 MBA program and the Masters of Public Administration. You can see they all carry somewhat similar brands. I would say the notable thing about 2U is that we actually partner with only one great school at the top tier in each discipline, and we make it the best. That's the entire notion behind the company. We're not trying to power every online MBA. We're trying to power the single best online MBA. So why are we relevant to the conversation? First is technology. Universities basically invented the internet, but they don't use it particularly well. Uh, second is we believe that those that are discussing online as a low cost exercise have a challenge. We believe to do it really well, it's expensive. We've raised 102 million in venture capital, not because we like raising money, although we're very thankful for Paul Mader and Phil Bronner and Roger Novak that are here in the room. But uh, the fact is it takes resources to do this right. So in each vertical, we'll invest around eight or $10 million before we start seeing a return. Second, recruiting. Recruiting is more of an art than a science on most college campuses. We try to bring the science to it. And then probably most importantly, this image is the most important image in this deck. We are not a toe-in-the-water solution. Schools have to show the willpower to make students equal in every way to the on-campus student. Equal in every way. No E on the degree, no I on the degree, same exact degree, same faculty, same quality, and therefore the same price structure. And we share revenue. So this is an oversimplification of what each side does. So the way to look at this is this is the real thing. This is the school's faculty, the school's IP. We power the experience. And technology is a key component of that. My CTO is in the room, James Kennigsberg, has built an incredible suite, a, really a very complicated tech stack that goes from the front end LMS all the way to the back end, working with the school to administer the actual degree program. Uh, but it's not just a tech story. It really is a services story. So behind the scenes, entirely behind the scenes, we are white label, two standing behind the U. We are simply not out front. You'll never hear us talk about a two U course or a two U degree because it's not a two U course or a two U degree. It is a Georgetown course. It is a Chapel Hill course. So what does the experience look like? We talk about four pillars underlying the experience. First, high quality asynchronous content. I hate the term asynchronous. People have no idea what I'm saying. But it's canned content students consume to have a shared understanding of the material once they go here. They go to class. So they go to class once a week live. Looks a little like the Brady Bunch, uh, powered with some great technology that James built. But at the end of the day, it is an intimate, no, no back row experience. So I'll show you a little bit about what, what one student says about it later. But you can't get away. You are highly intimate with that faculty member. You know, you are present in the room. It's 12 looking at 12. Our LMS is intentionally more like Facebook than it is like Blackboard. We believe in a social experience. We believe that today the, the power of social networks are proven. So we apply those tenets to an academic experience. And then finally, this is probably the most complicated. If Georgetown's going to make you a master of science in midwifery, there's no virtual babies, right? You've got to go deliver the babies. So we find a placement for you in Nebraska or in Oregon or in Florida or wherever you are. Then we find a preceptor to put with you that is trained by Georgetown on the platform. That's actually very complicated. So what's going on in our program so far? Five minutes, thank you. So we have, uh, we're very proud of our retention across our programs. 84% uh, of our students are either graduated or still enrolled in the program. So it's very high retention for online programs. Uh, I like this quote. I feel an even greater sense of intellectual intimacy with my online students than I do on campus. Now, we never compare ourselves to the campus because we are the campus. But those faculty members that have worked in both really do find a level of intimacy that is uncommon in an, in an online program. So we talk a little bit about customer satisfaction. We know that long term, two of you will succeed based on our partners delivering a really high quality educational experience that has high student satisfaction, but ultimately has high outcomes. Students get great jobs. Retention leads to jobs. So we measure all of our student satisfaction with a net promoter score, which is a very high bar for customer satisfaction. So number one, it's notable that a university would use a net promoter score. So we like that. We like the university thinking about how its students, how satisfied its students are. So it's a question of, would you recommend something to a friend? And it could be either something as trivial as a soda or something as important as a doctor. And it's a very high bar because you're effectively removing seven and eight from the calculation. So the only people that count to the positive are nines and tens. And I don't know about you, if I gave something an eight on a 10-point scale, that's a pretty high bar for me. So in our programs, we're proud to say that 
our net promoter levels across the four programs that we actually have some experience are all uh, around Apple and Amazon's published scores. So students are really satisfied in these programs. Now most importantly, what does that lead to? It leads to a great job. So we have our, our dean of our ed school is here, Karen Gallagher, who actually built the first program with us. She's graduated over 1,000 teachers at this point, and the job placement rate for those teachers is in the low 90s. So can you click that for me real quick? Uh-oh. Go back. Yeah, just click, hit play. There you go, right there. It is my experience thus far in the MAT at USC program is more dynamic, more participatory, more innovative, and more collaborative than any bricks and mortar educational experience I've ever had. So that's a real student in our MAT at USC program with the Rossier School of Education. The reason I love the clip is that it says a lot about the experience the students have. She's also super cute. Um, that's my wife, so just FYI. Uh, so this is the first time, that's true, that is my wife. So that's why they're just like, she's super cute, and they're like, oh, that's a little creepy. Uh, so this is the first time we've released this data, so we actually, for the first time, have chosen to release uh, some financial data about the company because the company is getting to some scale now. We're a, a little under 600 employees and we're excited to say that in terms of tuition generated for our partner programs, which really only counts our four partner programs, we're uh, this year approaching 230 million. So it's getting to some scale. And then finally to talk about uh, an initiative that we're launching in the fall. It's called Semester Online. It's the first time that elite institutions have done online undergrad for credit. So it's a consortium of great schools starting in the U.S. and soon abroad, and the consortium is Duke, Northwestern, Wash U, Emory, Notre Dame, Brandeis, Boston College, Wake Forest. So we're excited to take their online undergrad for credit with rigorous high quality live instruction, just like you'd see in our graduate programs. So we like to think of this as real. So our approach to online ed, we believe, is the real thing. It is entirely as good as, an, as a high quality on-campus program. And it's really all about the willpower of a fantastic institution. Brands are not just about marketing, they're about relationships. And when you have high quality faculty like we have at Rossier or we have at Chapel Hill, working with students on a weekly basis, it is not only intimate, but it creates an outcome for the student that is basically proven today. So, and I'm 43 seconds ahead of schedule. How about that? So that's it, thank you.